Hey guys, what is going on? And today I'm back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be doing something I haven't done, like, ever on my channel. So, yeah guys, I hope you like the video. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be looking at my deck collection. I'm not a big collector, but tomorrow I'm getting a um, another deck, Star Wars uh, 311, Light Blue Edition. I highly recommend um, the Star Wars cards from Theory 11. So, yeah, I'm just going to look at my cards and see how they are, and I'm going to review them. Okay, so first of all, we have the standard bicycle deck. And we're just going to go ahead and open it up. Let's see. Hello. I'm out. So, yeah, guys, here is the bicycle deck. It's the jumbo size. Um, these cards are okay. I mean... My cards have been through a lot. And hang on. So, like I said, my uh, bicycle deck has been through a lot. It's it's pretty smooth. But, I mean, there's a little bit of stains on it from when I spilled water on them. And um, stuff like that. But, I've been taking pretty good care of my cards i mean i've had bicycle i've been using bicycle for a while uh because as you can see the card spread with them is not very good i mean the fan the pressure fan is actually okay with these so uh bicycle has been um uh, playing card company that's been out for quite a while now. I think it's two centuries. And if you just go to Walmart or something. I mean, I highly recommend these bicycle playing cards. So yeah, guys, that's the bicycle playing cards. Next up, we have the Jimico Purple Watermark Engage playing cards. Now, these are pretty stiff but they're actually not a bad deck like as you can see it's pretty smooth and the jack the queen and king are quite different from all the other cards so like here's the jack for it's diff more different than um the other bicycle plant cards and then the Jack of Hearts looks different. We got the Jack of Hearts. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades card looks really cool in this deck. Let me find it. Oh, there it is. So, yeah. That's the Ace of Spades. I mean, I do kind of recommend these cards. They are pretty good. The only thing wrong with them is they're just a little bit stiff. These are brand new, so um, it's kind of hard to do the riffle shuffle with these because they're really stiff. Yeah, here's the riffle shuffle with them. Oh god, that's hard. It's a um, pretty good deck. Once you get to play around with it and stuff, it should go into shape and what you want it to do and yeah that's the Jimico watermark engage playing cards so next up we have the Petro poker playing cards and here's the deck it's quite small and the bag design like that it's your basic bicycle deck Except for, this is for like, this isn't Svengali, even though it looks like Svengali. But, if you're a beginner, and you want to do like one-handed cuts, I highly recommend 
with these to practice the one-handed cuts. So I had the one-handed cut down pretty good. So it looks like this right here. Like you take it, bam. Hold the deck like that. And you do the one-handed cut. So yeah, that's the one-handed cut. And these are made in China. So almost everything here in the USA is made in China. So yeah, that is the Petro Poker playing cards. Now, the back of the card actually looks pretty cool. Like, you got the design right there, and the and coily products. And, yeah, that's the Petro Poker playing cards. Coming up to the next deck, we actually have the Standard Face playing cards, Bicycle Edition. So, it has little planes on the back of it, the side. And then on the side, right there, and on the other side, the front looks like that. And then once you go into the detail of the play cards, they are actually pretty good. If you take a look at them, like this right here, they do feel like butter. So like, the pressure fan and the one-handed fan is okay with these. Now, these are a little bit stiff. Um, I don't really recommend using these. I just use them for like duplicates and tricks like that. The Jack of Diamonds and the face cards are actually pretty smooth with these. Now there's the Jack of Diamonds. So that's one demonstration. And on the back, you got these little airplanes and then, oh crap, the lights. The spades on the side right Right there, right there, right there, and right there. So, yeah, that is the Ace Authentic playing cards. Next deck, we have the Maverick Poker playing cards. Now, you can find these at the dollar store. Now, these I don't really recommend. So, like, if you come across them, I wouldn't really buy it. But if you're actually into cards... I mean, it's kind of made poorly, like, look at how it's freaking bent, bent the frig, like, see how it leans, like that, and the riffle shuffle is actually kind of hard to do with these, like, I don't really recommend these, I mean, they literally stick together, and these are brand new, so... Yeah, that's the Maverick Poker Playing Cards. Next, we have my favorite deck of playing cards in my collection right now. It is the Coca-Cola Santa Playing Cards. So that's the front. There's the back. And then you got the little Coca-Cola logo on the bottom. And then Coca-Cola brand playing cards. And then Coke playing cards Christmas edition now when you look at these cards they actually look pretty good these cards literally feel like butter like it feels like you're putting butter between the cards and then like flipping just having butter on your fingers like the riffle shuffle on these is actually pretty good to do with I do recommend these so, here's the face of the cards. Back, we got little Santa sitting in the chair. And then, of course, we got the Ace of Spades. Let me find it. These are completely random face cards. But I'm pretty sure the Ace of Spades is cool looking in this deck. Here, let me find it. And the Ace of Spades should be right about there. There is the Ace of Spades for the Santa Claus deck. And yeah, that is the Coca-Cola Santa Claus deck. So yeah, guys, that is my deck collection for today. Tomorrow I'm going to be adding a 
new one, Star Wars, um, what's it called? Theory 11 deck of cards. It's gonna be really special, so don't miss the video for tomorrow, so, bye guys. And, uh, if the link, the Jemico playing cards, I found it at a thrift store, and it's actually well made, the box. Bicycle, you can get it at Walmart, a uh, dollar store, whatever. You can get the Jumbo, you can get Standard. And then the Peter Poker playing cards, I'm pretty sure these are rare. And then of course we got the Ace Authentics, you can get at the Dollar Tree. The Maverick Poker, you can get at the Dollar Store for one box. And this deck is pretty rare. I'm pretty sure they only made, like, thousands of these in the world, and that's it. And these are about, maybe, I'm thinking maybe $5 for these. But you're probably not going to be able to find these anywhere, because like I said, these are pretty rare. So, yeah, guys, that's my deck collection, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.